Today back then, what happened today in modern history? Let's get most smartest. In 1788, a fire in New Orleans leaves most of the city destroyed. Also in 1788, Elauda Equiano, a freed slave, petitions King George III and Queen Charlotte to free enslaved Africans. In 1791, Captain Hopley Eaton, that's a fun name, he becomes the first commissioned officer in the Revenue Marine, the forerunner of the modern U.S. Coast Guard. In 1800, as church leadership had been driven out of Rome, Pius XII is crowned Pope in Venice using a temporary papal tiara made of paper mache. In 1824, a fire at a Cairo ammunition dump kills 4,000 horses. In 1844, this is the first day of the first year of the Baha'i calendar. Also in 1844, today is the original date predicted by William Miller of Massachusetts for the return of Christ and the end of the world. It just didn't happen, Bill. In 1857, an earthquake in Tokyo, Japan kills over 100,000 people. In 1860, English novelist George Eliot finishes her novel, The Mill on the Floss. Yes, her. Most people don't realize the book was written by a woman. In 1866, the U.S. Congress authorizes National Soldiers Homes. In 1871, journalist Henry Morton Stanley begins his trek to find the missionary and explorer David Livingstone. Dr. Livingstone, I presume? In 1913, over 360 people are killed and 20,000 homes are destroyed in the Great Dayton Flood in Dayton, Ohio. In 1917, Loretta Walsh becomes the U.S. Navy's first female petty officer. In 1924, the first foreign language course is broadcast on U.S. radio. In 1928, Charles Lindbergh is presented with the Medal of Honor for the first solo transatlantic flight. In 1934, fire destroys Hakodate, Japan, killing about 1,500 people. In 1935, Shah Reza Pahlavi formally asks the international community to call Persia by its native name, Iran, which means land of the Aryans. That probably irritated Hitler. In 1937, 18 people and a seven-year-old girl are gunned down by a police squad in Ponce, Puerto Rico. In 1940, Alfred Hitchcock's movie Rebecca premieres in Miami, Florida and wins the Oscar for Best Picture in 1941. In 1943, an assassination attempt on Adolf Hitler fails. Too bad. Also in 1943, there's a massacre in the town of Kilavrita, Greece by German Nazi troops. In 1945, British planes bomb Gestapo headquarters in Copenhagen, Denmark. They also hit a school, killing 125 civilians. In 1947, U.S. President Harry Truman signs Executive Order 9835, requiring all federal employees to have complete and unswerving loyalty to the United States. In 1948, Stop the Music with Burt Parks premieres on ABC Radio. That was even before his Miss America gig. In 1951, there are now 2,900,000 U.S. soldiers in Korea. In 1952, Alan Freed gave us the first ever rock and roll concert, the Moondog Coronation Ball. It was shut down after only one song due to overcrowding. Also in 1952, tornadoes in Arkansas, Tennessee, Missouri, Mississippi, Alabama, and Kentucky caused 343 deaths. In 1953, at the Boston Syracuse NBA game tonight, a record 106 fouls are committed, and 12 players foul out of the game. In 1955, a Brooklyn Bulletin article asks Dodger fans to stop calling the team bums. In 1956, at the 28th Academy Awards, the movie Marty wins Best Picture, Anna Magnani and Ernest Borgnine win for Actors, and the movie The Rose Tattoo wins three Oscars, just not the best movie. In 1957, Tennessee Williams' Orpheus Descending premieres on Broadway in New York City. In 1960, in South Africa, police open fire on a group of unarmed black South African demonstrators, killing 69 and wounding 180 more. In 1961, tonight is the Beatles' first appearance at the Cavern Club in Liverpool. Hope you got your tickets. 
1962, Yogi the Bear is the first to be ejected at supersonic speeds by the U.S. military when ejection seat testing begins today. In 1963, Alcatraz Prison in San Francisco's Bay closes permanently today. In 1964, the Beatles' single, She Loves You, hits number one in the United States. In 1965, American civil rights activist Martin Luther King Jr. leads 3,200 people on the third civil rights march from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama. Also in 1965, NASA launches Ranger 9, which is the last in a series of unmanned lunar space probes. It takes 5,814 pictures before crashing into the moon. In 1966, the U.S. Supreme Court reverses the Massachusetts ruling that the book Fanny Hill is obscene. Also in 1966, American medical drama series Ben Casey ends a five-year season run on ABC TV. In 1968, Royals is chosen as the name of the new Kansas City American League baseball franchise. In 1970, Earth Day is celebrated for the first time. Also in 1970, Vinko Bogotaj crashes during a ski jumping championship in Germany. He becomes known as the Agony of Defeat guy in the opening credits of ABC's Wide World of Sports. Do you remember that? I still cringe when I see that video. And in 1970 as well, the first San Diego Comic-Con International opens its doors. In 1971, as of today, Vermont's snowfall this winter totals 132.2 inches. In 1972, the U.S. Supreme Court rules that states can't require a one-year residency to vote. In 1975, Ethiopia abolishes its monarchy after 3,000 years. In 1978, San Francisco passes the most comprehensive homosexual rights bill in the United States. In 1980, season three of the hugely popular TV show Dallas ended with the shooting of J.R. Ewing. I'm still not sure if I know who shot J.R. Also in 1980, U.S. President Jimmy Carter announces that the United States was boycotting the Summer Olympics in Moscow in protest of the Soviet invasion of Afghanistan. In 1981, nine-time World Grand Prix motorcycle champion Mike Halewood and his nine-year-old daughter Michelle are killed when they collide with a truck near their home in England. In 1982, the movie Annie premieres. In 1983, today's issue of Time magazine has the only known typo on the cover. They missed the T in the word control. I guess the editor didn't have control. In 1984, NFL owners passed the infamous, and to some unpopular, anti-celebrating rule. Also in 1984, part of Central Park in New York City is named Strawberry Fields to honor John Lennon. And in 1984 as well, a Soviet submarine crashes into the U.S. aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk near Japan. In 1988, at the 23rd Academy of Country Music Awards, Hank Williams Jr., Randy Travis and Reba McIntyre win. In 1989, Sports Illustrated magazine reports allegations tying baseball player Pete Rose to baseball gambling. In 1990, the show Normal Life, starring Max Gale, Moon Unit, and Dweezil Zappa, premieres on CBS TV and didn't last for long. Also in 1990, and on CBS TV, Sydney, starring Valerie Bertinelli, premieres. In 1991, 27 people are lost at sea when two U.S. Navy anti-submarine planes collide. In 1994, the last episode of the Australian TV series Mother and Son was broadcast. Also in 1994, at the 66th Academy Awards, Schindler's List, Tom Hanks, and Holly Hunter win. In 1995, New Jersey officially dedicates the Howard Stern Rest Area along Route 295. In 1999, at the 71st Academy Awards, Shakespeare in Love, Roberto Benigni, and Gwyneth Paltrow win. In 2000, NSYNC releases their fourth studio album called No Strings Attached, and it becomes the Billboard Album of the Year. In 2002, 13-year-old schoolgirl Amanda Dowler is abducted in broad daylight on her way home from school in England. Her body is found six months later and her murderer receives life in prison. 
In 2006, Twitter co-founder Jack Dorsey sends the world's first tweet. In 2012, five former Guatemalan paramilitary soldiers are sentenced to 7,710 years in prison for their role in the Plan de Sanchez massacre in 1982. In 2013, 42 people are killed and 84 more are injured by a bombing in a mosque in Damascus, Syria. Also in 2013, at least 45 people drown and 60 more are missing after a Nigerian boat sinks off the shore of Gabon. And in 2013 as well, the European Space Agency reveals new data that indicates the universe is actually 13.82 billion years old. In 2018, Facebook's Mark Zuckerberg admits they made mistakes after data on 50 million users is harvested by Cambridge Analytica. You think? Also in 2018, China announces even greater controls over the media. In 2019, six days after the Christchurch terrorist attack, New Zealand Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern announces a ban on military-style semi-automatic weapons. Also in 2019, an overloaded boat sinks in the Tigris River near Mosul, Iraq, drowning nearly 100 people. In 2019 as well, the governor of Missouri declares a state of emergency as flooding from Nebraska and Iowa flows downstream into Missouri. And in 2019 again, a huge blast from a chemical factory in eastern China is so big it registers as an earthquake, killing 78 people and injuring another 617. Also in 2019, a Bangladeshi woman with two uteruses safely gives birth to twins 26 days after having already given birth. Today in 2019 sure was busy, but today in 2020, the worldwide COVID-19 death toll tops 12,000 people. And lastly in 2021, Miami Beach, Florida imposes a state of emergency and a curfew as large crowds descend on the area for spring break. Believe it or not, yes, people went for spring break. That was today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure you watch more of my videos and subscribe to my channel just as soon as you can. You don't want to miss anything. Talk to you soon.